was the only thing that kind of made me feel proud of myself. It, uh, my friends would be like, oh, I saw you there, and we would be on the train, and I'd see myself. People kind of started kind of respecting me. It's all about today, the people who aren't really well known, and also the people that are now well known who did it in a kind of, um, I guess, unconventional way, and how today the unconventional way is kind of becoming the, the normal way and the successful way. That's what I'm actually going to talk about, is the production process of a vinyl toy, and it's actually this guy here. So, if you guys want to feel free to have a look around. We kind of took it a step further and we started them um, chopping up some of our toys from our own collection. Nokia's interesting example because what Nokia should have done really is said, okay, we're going to have these films and they're going to be loaded onto every new phone that goes out. So your work as an artist, as a filmmaker, is going to be preloaded on every on however many million phones. <laughs> had this way of showing, visualizing how these sounds were designed and how these sounds were built. So I started applying that concept to other sounds. We have some amazing artists on the wall on my right and your left. So make some noise for the artists, please. Terry Guy, he came up with the, the concept. Uh, make some noise for Terry Guy. <laughs> <laughs>